What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm excited to make this video today because it's the first video that I make after having paid my truck. And if you don't know, I was paying about, a, no, I was paying $1,200 a month for that truck and I paid it off last month. Now, of course, the reason I'm excited to make this video is because paying off that truck makes it a whole lot easier to invest money every month. It frees up that $1,200 a month that I get to invest. And I'm actually putting in $1,400 a month from now on. This month, I actually had a little bit extra cash and I put in $1,600, but usually I'm gonna try to keep it around $1,400 to $1,300. Now, the way I paid off the truck was I actually took out of my Robinhood account. I was around uh, $34,000 and I took out about $8,000 from my Robinhood account. I sold some ETFs I had and I sold Microsoft. So I don't own any Microsoft at this time right now, but maybe I will later. Even though my portfolio value on Robinhood went down because I took out that $8,000, uh, the market actually went down right after I took out. I took it out at a high point and it actually went down as soon as I took it out. The market went down. I don't know what the reason was, but the market went down and it was like I perfectly timed it for the first time ever. Uh, I actually got lucky, really. So I perfectly timed it. I sold at a high point, paid off my truck with that $8,000. And then I freed up some money, $1,200 every month. $1,200 from the payment. And then I would usually put in $200 extra every month. So that's going to be $1,400 every month that I get to put into Robinhood. Now, how am I going to spend that money every month? I've decided, I've decided to go with a few big name companies every month to spend that money on. For example, this month, I put in a thousand six hundred dollars. A thousand went to my big name company. This month was McDonald's. I bought a few shares of McDonald's, and then the, the rest of it, the six hundred dollars, went to VTI ETF, which I like. It's a little safer than just one individual stock. So now in my portfolio, I got two ETFs: SCHB, and I got VTI, which is, they're kind of similar. And I got Apple, Baba, Google, and McDonald's. Those are the four companies that I have with those two ETFs. So I, so I made the list on my watch list now that Robinhood allows you to make lists. And my lists are big name companies, then Vanguard funds, electronic vehicles, cryptos to watch because I, I'm kind of thinking about getting into cryptos and gene editing companies. But right now I'm going to focus on the big name companies that I have. The first one was McDonald's that I bought this month. I bought a thousand dollars worth of McDonald's. Also on this list, I got Berkshire Hathaway which is valued at 210 right now. I got Facebook, which is valued at 260. I got JP Morgan Chase, which is valued at 9770. I got UPS, which is $166, which I think is the next one that I'm going to buy $1000 worth next month when, when I get my paycheck. I got Walmart, I got Microsoft, Amazon, Visa, and Johnson and Johnson. So within the next year, I'm looking to own each one of those $1000 of each one of those companies and then build on that VTI fund that I have maybe because I, I own a lot of SEHB, which is the other ETF that I have. And I want VTI to basically catch up so it could be, you know, kind of even with, with SEHB. And I have $6,896 invested into SEHB. And I kind of only have $600 of VTI invested. So I want to kind of catch up VTI to SEHB. So it's going to be a while until I buy more SEHB. Um, I'm going to be building on that, on that VTI at least $300 a month on VTI and then a thousand on each one of those big name companies. So even though my total uh, portfolio value is down because I did take out those $8,000, I feel like it's gonna grow a lot faster with this investment strategy now that I have that money freed up from the truck payment to be putting in monthly more and more and more. I don't plan on taking any more out. That was the only thing I really had left to pay. I don't have any more payments besides my condo that I'm not gonna pay off. So I'm just gonna be building, adding 1,200, 1,400 every month maybe even more depending on what I have left. Uh, but I, I feel like that's gonna be a, a faster investment strategy. It's gonna allow me to make more gains. And I understand that these big companies are not gonna be the type to explode uh, like those penny stocks that go up tons and make you rich. I understand that, but I do think investing for the future, you need to have these companies that are proven to be successful, that give it a little bit of dividend, that can last hard times, and it's not a good time to be risky right now with all this going on. So I do like these big name companies for a little safer return on your money. If you got any questions, 
if you are interested in starting to invest, I know a lot of people actually message me about how Robinhood works and stuff. Feel free to message me guys, ask me how Robinhood works. Don't be afraid when Robinhood asks you for personal information like your social security number. You do need to pay taxes on this money that you make. So it's not a, it's not a, it's not a scam, but uh, so let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching the video guys. Subscribe to the channel. We're gonna try to be keeping you updated with more, more videos on stocks, more videos on sports. Uh, we hope you enjoy it.